Investigations by scientists in Ghana have proven that a black soldier fly and the house fly, generally regarded to be of no use to human, could actually be assets. For some time, local poultry farmers have complained about two things, unbridled imports of foreign poultry and the high cost of local production. The new research work by the CSIR's Animal Research Institute provides a solution which could chip away high costs of poultry production in the country. Fish or soya bean as the base for livestock feed is generally regarded expensive. Now, the scientists of CSIR Ghana have come up with highly nutritious feed for animals without the two expensive ingredients. Carefully observing the reproductive cycles of the black soldier fly and the house fly, the scientists found that the larva of the two flies contains protein of great value which could be used in livestock feed, poultry especially. Both flies are handled separately, but it is the black soldier fly which is caged to lay eggs. Nectar for the flies are placed in sawdust to settle them to lay eggs there. In lieu of sawdust, the alternative substrate could be the waste of pigs. A research scientist of the CSIR's Animal Research Institute, Dr. Sigfield Obresi, explains why the lava of the black fly and the house fly made the discovery possible. We see that agriculture is now challenged with climate change, consumer preferences, reduction in uh, land size, and production of a lot of waste. So to be sustainable, there should be a way of reducing dependence on good materials and moving on to things that human beings may not even use, but the animals can use so that we can use it to produce sustainably and to reduce their costs. The small grey spot in the center of sawdust contained in this bowl are the eggs laid by any of the two flies. Coming from the cage in this case, the eggs are most likely to be those of the black fly since in all the experiments, the scientists found it most appropriate to allow the house fly to be on free range. They said, House flies ought not be trapped to drastically reduce their population in the open air, for they fill a niche in the ecosystem. One of these is the maggot of house flies that break down organic matter in garbage. So, the scientists are not interested in caging the house fly, but flounce anything that could attract them in the open for the fly to settle and lay their eggs on them. Whatever the case may be, the eggs laid by the flies go to the incubation bowl for almost two weeks, but are not allowed to hatch before processing of animal feed begins. In other words, the larva are harvested at the pre pulpit stage when they are rich in nutrients. We we'll put this in the sun for some time and then pour this onto fresh sawdust and leave it for about two to three hours. What the happens eggs. is that they have something in their gut. They so have eaten drop. here, and do, so they also have some feces in their gut. So within that two hours, they will defecate everything out, and you, they will tend to be very clean animals. It's after then that we take them to the dryer, and we dry them up. Operating an insectary to produce feed for livestock, is said to be less expensive and less laborious. The land area required to produce one ton of soya bean, so you can convert it to a form that we use for livestock feed. It requires several hectares of land to be able to produce one ton of soya bean. Whereas you look at the insectry here, a very small land area, because we have vertical build, we have several layers of uh, the product. So we are able to produce this. It doesn't matter whether it's raining or it's a dry season. All year round, you are able to produce. The scientists sought to demystify taboos about the lava, saying their direct consumption by humans is not unusual, much more as feed for animals. From the Bible, John the Baptist was eating 
locusts, which is an insect, and honey. And he survived. And even in Ghana, we are eating the kokunu. And if you go to other places, the larvae from the shared, shared nut palms are also eaten. So we have a basis to uh, suggest that we should use larvae for livestock production. After the process, the material is bagged for supplies. The residue of the preparation of animal feed can be used as compost for vegetables. Napoleon Atukito reporting.